Hey guys, it's Aaron. So we're gonna talk some more about layout. Today we're gonna to get into scrapbooks. Uh, we've done a couple of videos in the past about different ways to use scrapbooks, but we never really covered the basics. So I just wanna start super basic, just what is a scrapbook, how does it work, and uh, how we're gonna make one. So let's just go ahead and hop right in. All right, so we're working in the same model we've been working in here, and uh, we're gonna look at scrapbooks. So first I just wanna look at some default scrapbooks. When you come into scrapbooks, what scrapbooks are is collections of drawings that are already made, they're ready for you to use. So you don't have to go in and recreate the same geometry over and over as you create your plans. They are created and put into like these, these uh, folders, I guess you would call them. So here I have one, arrows, and then you can see underneath that I have some curved arrows straight up and down, left, right, flat, tilted, north, straight, and crazy. So if we look at one of these, let's, let's switch from curved. We saw what curved was, let's go to straight up and down. So I click straight up and down. Okay, this is a collection of these four arrows. So regardless of which one you're in, to use a scrapbook entity is pretty simple. You click on it and drag it and drop it onto the screen. It's gonna get dropped in. At that point, I can move it around just like any other entity I would see inside of SketchUp. I'm sorry, inside of Layout. I can move it around, I can resize it. Pretty simple, that's how it works. Um, let's look at some, let's look at some different ones here just to, to buzz through. These are the default ones. Remember, everything we see here can be created also. So we can actually go in and recreate or modify any of these as well. So let's look at people. I'm going to go to the people and under people, we have these first couple are specific scales. So one to 20, uh, one half equals a foot, three eighths equals a foot. And then we have small English and small metric. I'm going to go to uh, small English detailed. Let's see what's in there. All right, so this drawing, the current drawing on my screen is, is scaled to 1 8 inch equals a foot. So if I look in this, here I actually have 1 8 inch equals a foot. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a, I'm gonna grab Aiden right here. I'm gonna click on him, drag him, and drop him onto the drawing. So he seems a little small, right? He's, this is, this is baby Aiden. He's barely, he can't even see out the window. This is the scale that he's being pulled off of the scrapbook. When I release it into the drawing, it's actually going to scale up to the proper size, and that's that's more the size that Aiden would be standing in a house. He can, he is tall enough to look out of a window. Um, so that is the basics of how scrapbook works. When they're dropped in, they are at their original scale, but you do have the ability to change anything you want. So I can make a big, giant, two-story tall Aiden, or uh, I can make you know wide Aiden or skinny Aiden. I can move that geometry around however I want. So let's talk about what a scrapbook actually is. So here's the thing. When I drop this down, so when I see one of these arrows, so let's look at cars. So right here I have a thing called cars. If I click on cars, it goes into cars and it has below it all these different sections, all these different pages. So cars itself is a layout file. Each of these right here is a page in that layout file. So this is, this, is, this is a trick, this is a peek behind. So all that we're looking at right here is a layout file and then each of its pages. So if we wanted to make a brand new one, here, let's do that. Let's go, we're gonna go to file and I'm gonna hit new, create a brand new empty template. I'm just gonna create one that has just no uh, grid lines or anything like that. And I'm gonna call this, I'm gonna go save as, and I'm gonna call it shapes. All right, so this is my shapes. So I'm gonna create a couple pages. Page one, I'm gonna call this circles. No spell check. All right, circles. And I'm gonna hit plus, I'm gonna make a squares. And we'll do one more and call this pentagons. Okay, so if I go to my circles page, I'm gonna put some circles on here. I'm just gonna grab the circles tool and I'm going to, for the sake of speed, I'm just gonna draw three circles of different sizes. So I could draw these exact sizes. In this case, I'm just drawing them quick. Uh, I'll go to squares, grab my rectangle tool. Actually, let's go make sure they're, they are actually squares. We'll come in here and pull out, uh, let's drop that down. There we go. One, 
two, three, I'll move that one a little more, a little more centered. Oops. Oh boy, I'm hitting undo too much. I, I undoed the wrong thing. All right, there we go. That's where I wanted to put that one. And I'll just copy it over. I'll just say, copy that over here and then scale it down. There we go. Okay, so now I got three squares and then we'll do pentagons too. So again, grab my polygon tool, drag one out, hit the up arrow to shift from three-sided to four-sided. And then let's see, let's drag it straight up. One, two, three. All right, so now we have three pages. Three circles, three squares, three pentagons. Now, rather than just save this as a layout file, I'm gonna to go to File, and I'm gonna say Save as Scrapbook. What do I wanna call this? I do wanna keep the name I already have, Shapes. If, if I hadn't already saved this as a layout file, this would come up and say Untitled and ask you for what you wanna call it. It's gonna save it into the default Scrapbooks folder. I'm gonna go ahead and hit Save. And immediately, as soon as I do that, if I come over here and drop this down, I have this Shapes folder. If I click on Shapes, Look what's in there. Circles, squares, pentagons. And now I can go to any of these pages and I can click on and drag those shapes into my drawing. So let's, let's, let's grab a circle and bring a circle in here. There we go. That's the exact same circle that I drew on the first page. And let's go click over. Let's go look at squares and grab the tiny square. We'll bring that in and drop that down here. So anything you create, anything you draw inside of here, whether it comes out of a SketchUp file or it's just drawn shapes, lines, whatever, as long as it's in a page, you can save it into scrapbook. So anything you find yourself drawing again and again on different drawings, that should be in a scrapbook. You should only have to create something once and then leverage scrapbooks to create it anytime you need it after that. So hopefully you like that and hopefully that gave you a little bit more insight into scrapbooks. I know scrapbooks seem to be one of those things that people immediately dive for because it's fun to just grab pieces and just drop them on your drawing. Uh, if you haven't used them before, hopefully that gets you like, you know, less scared, like willing to jump in and give it a shot. Uh, if you like that video, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. We do a couple videos a week around here and you'll be notified of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please leave a comment. This whole series is being created because of comments from viewers like you. We like making these videos a lot. We like them even more when they're showing something you wanna see. Thank you.